ongoing thing. So we are back again in our Unreal Engine 4 project to create a basic Paco game and I have did some changes to my ground. What I have did is I just rescaled it so that we have much more room to experiment with other stuff which we are going to implement in near future. So if we play the game, we can clearly see that we have a basic movement setup which we have recently set it up in the first part of this video. Uh, we, we can move backward, we can move forward, we can look here and there, up and down. Everything has been set it up from scratch. So we can also perform a jump and a double jump. And in this video, we, what we will be doing is we will be setting up a basic, uh, really basic ledge climbing system. So this system doesn't have any of its own importance. What it does is it will assist your player to climb over really high surfaces. So it doesn't have any of its own importance, but it, what it will do is that it will enhance and polish your total player control. What we have to do is go into our Parco BP character, just open it up. And before doing anything, we just have to adjust our camera, uh, adjust our camera so that it look much more relevant because I didn't do it in the first part. So we'll be doing it right now. You can even turn off the grid snapping. This one, turn off it. Just simply turn off it and place the camera wherever you want it to be. And also you can change the field, field of view from 90 to 95 just because it gives you much more realistic sort of first person camera view. So the next thing we have to do is to create our empty scene component. Uh, for that we have to search for scene, scene, utility scene and make sure that this scene component is attached to our mesh rather than our camera and just rename this scene component to something else uh, something like and location wall climb so what it will do is it will act as the end uh, end location of the line trace which we will be setting up uh, in this video the line trace which will help us to determine where the walls actually are which we need to climb so just place it in front of the player somewhere here pretty nice so yeah now in the event graph we have our basic movement looking setup and jump and double jump setup which we made in the previous video so no we don't have to delete it <laughs> so uh, the next thing we have to do is to create a ledge climbing system obviously and we have to make it somewhere here because we have much more room uh, for that we have to search for our event tick event tick uh, this one add event tick and from here we have to search for uh, cast line trace by channel line trace by channel and the start position of this line trace will be the character itself so search for get actor location get actor location whereas the end position or the end location for the line trace will be our end location wall climb from here search for get world location of our uh, this scene component which we created and hook up the return value with the end location and the debug type should be on duration the next thing we have to do is no, no this one out hit we have to split some structure pins out of it and from all these structure pins we have to search for the uh, out hit hit actor and from here we will be typing actor hashtag so that we can check whether the actor which is being colliding with the line trace has the tag which we want it to be having and the tag will be something like climbable wall or maybe not uh, do you know what let it be climbable wall climbable wall and if the actor which is colliding with the line trace is having the this tag climbable wall the return value will go through a branch and check whether this actor is having this tag or not if this character is having this tag and if this condition is true we will be moving further on but before that we have to create a variable a float and for that just add a variable rename it to something like uh, give climb time and it will be a float not a boolean so change the variable type to float now compile and save 
set this variable over here control c control v to duplicate it again and the true one will if the condition is true we will hook it up here and if it's false we will hook it up here place it somewhere over here and if it's true then what we will be doing not here what we will be doing is we will get player controller and from our player controller we will check which key is being getting pressed and for how long for that we have to search for get input key time down and the key which we will be checking is the space bar because obviously we are using our space bar to performing to perform the jump and double jump so just hook it up over here and everything is fine okay from here we have to create a sort of branch but before creating the branch we have to set up a condition for that branch and in order to set up a condition uh, from give climb time we will be searching from for a uh, we will be searching for a no, not equal to float and the condition will be connected to branch. So if it's not equal to 0, if the condition is true and it's not equal to 0, we will be uh, making another branch, another condition. So control C, control V and if it's true and if it's not 0, we will be setting up another condition from get climb time. But this time it will be float great uh, less or equal than float float less or equal than float and the condition will again be connected with the branch and this time the float value will be 0 0.8 uh, no let it be 0 0.7 so if get climb time is greater or equal to 0 0.7 then we will be launching our character on the z axis so from true uh, let me check uh, fine everything is fine from true just launch character on the z-axis launch character and the z value will be on 500 just x and y override will be ticked y override will be ticked and the target will be self and let me check if i'm missing anything fine so just create a comment box as we are doing since the part one because it's nice and clean and you can easily remember if you're working on huge projects what sort of blueprint is performing what sort of action in this case we will be renaming this to ledge climbing as the comment box name or let it be simple ledge climbing because it doesn't have any sort of animations and effects in it simple ledge climbing and the next thing we have to do is polishing and stuff uh, and for that purpose we will be uh, getting our get climb give climb time over here get this one over here and similarly one over here and i will be explaining why we are doing this in a second just equal to float equal to float this one and let it be zero so if get climb time is zero that means we are not performing climbing and if that's the condition and if it's true only then we can move that means if we are performing a climbing if we are performing climbing that means we cannot move here and there uh, and similarly we'll go through uh, the looking setup so if we are climbing we cannot even use our mouse to look here and there otherwise it will become a total mess uh, we cannot actually see anything if we are climbing and using the mouse on the same time it will become a huge mess so just connect it over here connect it over here connect it here and connect it here cool and awesome if you even if you don't want to use it you can but i will highly recommend to use the climbing setup like this otherwise the player controller will just simply messed will get messed up you will be climbing as well as moving here and there on the same time and everything will look totally unpolished and in order to check whether our climbing system is working properly we have to uh, actually create some sort of platform for this purpose and in my case i will be using two shapes uh, probably two shapes one will be a cylinder awesome and place it somewhere here the next shape will be a cube 
cube will be nice so just shift and select both of these go into the details panel and search for tags uh, select both of these and the actor tag the second one actor tags and create a array element and rename it to the tag which we created climbable wall just copy paste it right click copy right click paste so hopefully even if i duplicate these shapes everything will work fine so let's get started with working on with our basic uh, platform setup don't worry this won't be a complete level i will be uh, making a separate video on creating bsp levels for your complete game these platforms will just act as simple prototypes in order to uh, just test whether our climbing setup is working or not and i will be time lapsing the video from here so that you don't have to watch the whole process So we are done with all this platform generating setup and now just play and uh, we are getting these red lines which are looking really messy and because we just simply set it up the debugging type to for duration so set it to none and play it again if we test it now it will work totally fine. So if we go towards this surface and perform a double jump, it will help us to climb. And everything is working totally fine. The changes are pretty uh, unnoticeable, but it provides a huge smoothness to the gameplay. So in order to see what sort of difference it's making to the gameplay, uh, we will just go simply into our blueprint and just break the link so that we can no longer perform the climbing setup and now just play test it so let's see what happens so if we go towards this platform and perform a double jump nothing happens we cannot climb this surface or this wall or this i don't know this cube <laughs> so we cannot uh, perform a climbing on this surface the same goes with the cylinder and the reason for this is that the gravity in the engine the game engine is dragging us uh, downwards whenever we are performing our uh, jump or double jump that means we there is no such force that is pushing us on the z-axis uh, so that we can perform our ledge climbing so that's what this system actually performs so if we go uh, go back into a blueprint and turn it on back again and play test again we can clearly see that we can now uh, get on these walls on these surfaces really quickly and really easily and this is what this climbing setup helped us to do in the game so this setup does not have any of its own importance but it will definitely create a much more smoother controller setup for your player so yeah this is it for today's video and i'll see you guys next time until then you can just press the thumbs up button subscribe turn on the notification if this video really helped you if you have any sort of question related to this video you can comment down in the comment section down below if you have any suggestion related to my uh, content or any sort of video you want me to do or if you have anything you want to share with me, you can comment down in the comment section down below. I will definitely respond to you guys. And yeah, that's it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.